Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. The BI spend their time positioning their pawns on the succession according to whether they are from the Bulu camp or from the Nanga camp. But they tell us that the over-the-counter agreement of which the enemy speak is nonsense. The borders are already open. People who have gone to confine themselves to Cameroon can already reach their country of residence. Even before the borders were open, members of the royal family were free to move around during confinement. The proof was Brenda and her mother, Chantal Bia, joined Euro before the borders were opened. The question that must be asked today is to know what Frank Bia still does on Cameroon soil if he does not want to replace his father. What does he do with his days? Is it a Cameroonian taxpayer's money that supports him and his small family during this time? If Frank Bia replaces his father, at the head of Cameroon, as if the latter had not already done enough damage, you will confirm that Cameroon is Cameroon. The Ekan people, fundamentally nasty, prepare for the civil war if Frank Bia takes power. In 38 years, he has done nothing but harm in this country. He no longer deserves to be in business. How can he be so mean to his own people? The city in Balmayo has only regressed and lost its soul in the yesteryears, while Biambi Invondo passes by there every time he goes to his village. Such wickedness towards your own people is called a curse and it must end. Almost two years ago, in his seventh term of shame, he could not have made changes to reconcile with his people who he mistreated. I cite some examples. He could have launched a big operation to apologize and reimburse the money which he has stolen from Cameroonians. He should have organized a dialogue with the English speakers himself when they still demanded federalism without waiting for Western pressure. He should have brought back the body of Amadou Ahijo from Senegal and apologized to the families of the Nordist killed during the coup d'etat of April 6, 1984, who could not properly bury their children. Instead, all what Bia had in his head was to stay in the West. As a result, he was chased everywhere and humiliated like a messy man. He organized a useless dialogue that had nothing to do with the English-speaking crisis. If things were done on time, he could have avoided the Ngabu massacre and the death of Samuel Wazizi. Today, English speakers have removed federalism from the negotiating table. What was possible for him a year and a half ago is no longer possible. Please subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos.